Hello, I want to see the uh, uh, picture elemental. Uh, yes, I saw it in digital 3D, uh, which is what I recommend you see it in. I, um, too bad I don't have my digital camera for this. This will look pretty, uh, it's pretty swell actually. Anyway, um, it does bear uh, quite a lot of similarities to the, um, uh, to a Zootopia or a Zootrop Zootropolis if you're in Great Britain. Um, right, um, you know, like, uh, racism and all that sort of thing. Um, there's certainly that, although this time we also get, uh, themes of, uh, like, uh, xenophobia, you know, uh, discrimination against immigrants, you know. And, uh, we get, uh, things about, um, and also, like, other languages and cultures from elsewhere. We get, we're getting some of that as well with this. And also, like, uh, you know, the themes of, uh, you know, um, being like your parents versus not being like your parents. Uh, so there, it is different from a Zootopia in that regard. Uh, visually, um, I think it was impressive, but somehow it didn't seem quite as um, impressive as I would expect with all the different uh, kinds of contrast between fire and water and such. Uh, I thought it would have been a more more intense somehow. Uh, can't quite. Um, I don't know quite why. Um, uh, I guess I uh, was kind of missing something there. Um, I, I thought uh, the romance between uh, these two characters here, um, we see here, um, uh, was actually it was good. Um, speaking of romance, um, there does seem like there are some queer uh, romance actually. Uh, some of the minor characters, you know, uh, definitely there's definitely two characters who are named uh, and are clearly. Um, couple, you know, same-sex couple or whatever they you would call that in this uh, world of uh, elemental binds. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yay! Uh, yay, Disney for Pride points uh, in Pride Month, uh, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, this uh, this Danny here, um, World Elemental, is actually uh, pretty impressive looking. Um, I'm pretty li quite like that. There's even some plastic here meant to look like glass, I suppose. Uh, some of the here's some of the other carriages around here. Ah, there's a lot going on here actually. Um, yes, yeah, so a no 40 with this one. Um, I don't think that's an option. Actually, yes, it is an option. Don't know how that would work out. Uh, let's say uh, any other characters here. Ah yes, I think uh, I think these two here are a couple. Yes, these uh, gals. Hi, Nate. Hey. Eh? Um, yes, quite a lot going on here, and they got balloons here for. I'm at uh, Regal Cinema, by the way, uh, which is where I saw this, gone and seen this picture. Um. All right, so go see Elemental. Uh, it's a good picture. Um, although the, I think. Um, Yes, uh, Sony, um, Sony Pictures, um, Sony Animations, uh, uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse definitely made much better use of the uh, digital 3D medium. Uh, even uh, even uh, DreamWorks Pulse and Boots, uh, The Last Wish. I think um, so. I think Disney needs to, uh, Pixar needs to step up the game with that. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure you get there early so you can uh, go and see um, uh, an up. Uh, you remember that movie, uh, Disney Pixar's Up? It was very, uh, a very uh, claimed picture, you know. Well, it's got a kind of a short called uh, uh, Carl's Dite, which is in digital 3D, and you will probably not be seeing. You won't be seeing that on Disney Plus in digital 3D because there's no 3D at all in Disney Plus. So, and it probably won't get a. I don't think it'll get a, uh, it might get a Blu-ray 3D release, maybe not. So go see it, um, uh, it's before uh, Elemental, uh, go watch that, okay? It's a good film. Right on, like, subscribe, and uh, burn bright, eh?